Now all is in readiness here at historic Memorial Hall for Titan Fighting Championship 17 to get underway with Anthony Gutierrez taking on John Hollis. Let's see how they stack up. They met as amateurs. They go at it now as pros. John Hollis, four years the older, also gives up a massive height differential sum, five inches. Both men weighed in at 140, but the half-inch reach advantage goes the way of Sharkbait Gutierrez. Let's go up to my double, Stephen St. John, to get us underway. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in tonight at 140 pounds with a record of two wins and one defeat. He hails from Salina, Kansas. Let's hear it for John Hollis. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in tonight at 140 pounds. He comes in with a record of one win and no defeat. Hailing from Lee Summit, Missouri. Let's hear it for Anthony Sharkbait Gutierrez. Your referee is Jason Herzog. Put his gun over the rules in the back though. No final questions from you, Blue. No final questions from you, Red. Touch gloves, come out, ready to fight. They fought once before as amateurs about nine months ago. It was a quick win for Gutierrez. Since then, can you believe this? Hollis has had 10 professional fights in boxing and mixed martial arts in nine months. 2-0 in pro boxing. He knocked out Nick Fast in the fourth round decision. Michael Freeman on February 19 right here at Memorial Hall. Gutierrez in the red, Hollis in the white, and they're off to an explosive start. There is no love lost between these two rivals. Good outside thigh kick there from Gutierrez. Hollis looking for a takedown, gets it. Into side control early for John Hollis. He's got a background in wrestling and, of course, boxing. Hollis, who wrestled at Selena South High, also a very good Muay Thai stylist, did some Thai training in Wichita. And also trains Muay Thai now with Marcio La Silva. Got to watch out here. Chuck Bates got a nice tight career working on his reaching underneath too to pull the hand out. He let it go. Coming up high. He's got to. Gutierrez is kind of weird because he is tall and long for the weight class, 140 pounds. He is very tall for this size. A little bit inexperienced though in the last nine months compared to Hollis. Gutierrez had a decorated amateur career, winning five titles in three different states at 135 and 145, amassing a 17 and 3 amateur record. He works a very good guard game. Does Anthony Gutierrez, his mother in the crowd, is always clutching her rosary beads and her Bible. The training town, the team at Grindhouse. In the corner of Gutierrez, saying they know that Hollis is a good boxer. But they've been working on their Muay Thai. They said they'd try and keep it standing, but as you saw earlier on, Hollis went straight in for a takedown on Gutierrez. Gets a good position on that takedown, and as a result, the whole time he's been on top, not getting much of a ground and pound going because he's been too worried about his arms getting pulled out from underneath him, and the length of Gutierrez is so much. And look at Sharkbait. That leg is up tall. It's so hard to do anything to him because he's always looking for another submission. Rubber guard here from Anthony Gutierrez. Did spend some time before his last fight, a victory on Titan Fight 16, training with Uriah Faber in California. This time, though, it's been all out of Grindhouse. We are representing almost half the card here tonight at Memorial Hall. Big deal in Missouri is Team Grindhouse. Foot on hip here on the right leg from Anthony Gutierrez, kicking the head down of Hollis, then allowing Hollis from the top position to posture up as Hollis just breaks through and gets a little elbow off to the orbital bone. And once again, that rubber guard that he could use to set up for an normal plata, set up for a goggle plata. Both legs up nice and high now in that closed guard frame. It looks like he could work to a double armbar if he chooses to in this position as well, but the good thing that, oh wow, he almost got his hand put in. The good thing the Hollis is doing is he's pushing in nice and tight, looking for the space and trying to keep his elbows under control. Good elbow again, just to the top lip there from John Hollis. Hollis comes in as the underdog, plus 215. Gutierrez, the favorite, minus 275. BetOnFighting.com, thank you to Nick Kalikas, who elbowed at the top of the head there from Gutierrez, trying to open up a money box. He throws up the legs again. Passes. 
does Hollis. And Gutierrez looks to put him back inside the guard front. Gets him all the way back in or swings him all around. Now, even though the Hollis is on top and doing a lot of the work, it ends up really being shark bait that is really scoring all the points, depending on the judging, because he's the one that's put up every single triangle position. He's the one that's gone high rubber guard. You know, really, all that Hollis has done is try to defend. And high guard again. Oh, it looks to up a triangle. Gutierrez, but not happening at the moment. Okay. Switches to an armbar. Oh, Good geez. work here off his back from Anthony Gutierrez. Jeez, Hollis has got to sink down on him, get, get elbows in deep, don't let him roll over. Is he going to finish Hollis again like he did as an amateur? He's One minute a, 25 remaining here in the first. He's got a great position to do it, he rolled the wrong way. He's got to bend his arm, he's in trouble here. Hollis tries to sit him on the back of his head, yanks the arm out, a couple of hammer fist strikes, Gutierrez with the up kick. Fantastic opening round here. And listen to this crowd rally. Here comes the boxing work of Hollis, shoots in for a double leg, switches to a single, and almost gets a takedown. Nicely done there from Gutierrez, went for a guillotine frame. The, the, the thing that flabbergasts me is that Hollis did all that. Oh, he's caught in his triangle now. Got the one arm in, one arm out. His head is he's hovering. He's got to sit all the way up nice and tall to get his legs back. The length of Sharkbait is going to be too much for him here if he doesn't sit up tall. Look at Gutierrez working the hips here. The triangle. And good night, Irene. He's done it again. Sharkbait brings the house down at Memorial Hall. Jeez, I can't believe that. You know, Hollis did all that work to pop up. The other work and, and finally got away, so let's go back to our feet. Let's stand up. And immediately goes in and shoots for the takedown. If you're gonna stand up with a guy like that, you know you've had problems with him on the ground. Don't take him back down again. Stay up. Stay up tall. Well, they may call Gutierrez shark bait, but it was John Hollis who turned into chum on that occasion. Take us through it again here, Frank. Now, here's the big mistake. He immediately rolls around the wrong side, bails himself out of it by sliding his elbow out. Throws a couple of punches and then walks away and goes, okay, let's go back to our feet. Smart to this point. He's very, very smart. Then he takes him down, gets caught in his position, immediately puts one hand in, one hand out, ends up in a triangle lock, and has to tap because of the length. He didn't pop his head up and try to sink out of it. Bad position and a, and a stupid mistake, really, on Hollis's part. Jubilation for Anthony Gutierrez moves his pro career forward to and over. Oh. And let's go up to Stephen St. John to put it in the history books. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended at four minutes and 20 seconds of round number one. Your winner by tap out due to triangle joke out of the red corner, Anthony Sharkbait Gutierrez. A more popular young man in Missouri you will not find. Anthony Gutierrez once again bringing the house down at historic memorial.